Breaking news from Starbase. SpaceX is revolutionizing rocket launch infrastructure once again. As we speak, beneath the towering new orbital launch mount, their engineers are crafting something extraordinary, a groundbreaking dual flame bucket system that could reshape the future of space launches. This isn't just another upgrade. While Pad A relies on water-cooled steel plates to handle the immense forces of Starship launches, SpaceX is taking a bold new approach with Pad B. The team is racing against time to complete this innovative launch system by January 28th next year, and what they have already accomplished is nothing short of remarkable. Just consider this. They stacked an entire launch tower in just six weeks, but that was just the beginning. Now they're pushing the boundaries even further with a design that's caught the attention of the entire aerospace industry. The dual flame bucket system isn't just about handling more power, it's about preparing for a future where launches happen not just weekly or daily, but potentially multiple times per day. What makes this system truly special? Picture two massive flame trenches working in perfect harmony, creating a spectacular wing-like effect as they direct the raw power of Starship's engines away from the launch pad. This isn't just engineering, it's art in motion, designed to handle rockets more powerful than anything we've seen before. In fact, this new system is already built to accommodate future Starship variants with up to 10,000 tons of thrust. That's three times more powerful than the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. This isn't just about today's launches, it's about paving the way for the next generation of space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest innovations from SpaceX and beyond. Let's dive right in. The engineering marvel taking shape at Starbase represents more than just concrete and steel. It's a glimpse into the future of space launch infrastructure. Let's break down exactly how this revolutionary system works and why it matters for the future of spaceflight. At the heart of Launchpad B lies the innovative dual flame bucket system. Thanks to the incredible work of the Chrome Kiwi team, whose detailed 3D renderings have given us unprecedented insight, we can see how this engineering masterpiece comes together. Picture a massive rectangular frame, carefully angled to redirect the raw power of Starship's engines. But here's where it gets interesting. Instead of the traditional single direction approach, SpaceX has designed a symmetric system that splits the flame into two massive streams. The numbers tell a compelling story. Each Raptor engine on Super Heavy generates thrust equivalent to five jumbo jets at full power. Multiply that by 33 engines, and you're dealing with forces that would flatten a small town. That's where the genius of the dual flame bucket design shines. By splitting these forces symmetrically, the system creates a balanced distribution that's both more efficient and more spectacular to witness. But SpaceX isn't just building for today, they're building for tomorrow. Internal documents reveal that the new launch pad is already designed to handle up to 10,000 tons of thrust. That's not just an arbitrary number, it's precisely what they'll need for the next generation of Starship, currently known as V2. Sources within SpaceX confirm that V2 prototypes are already in production, featuring the advanced Raptor 3 engines that can deliver an astounding 2,180 tons of thrust each at sea level. The water delivery system integrated into the flame trench is equally impressive. During launches, thousands of gallons per second cascade through carefully designed manifolds, creating a protective barrier that shields both the rocket and the infrastructure. This isn't just about cooling, it's about creating a controlled environment in one of the most extreme engineering scenarios imaginable. What sets this apart from Pad A's water-cooled steel plate system is its longevity. While the steel plates have shown wear after just a handful of launches, the dual flame bucket design is built for thousands of launches per year. This isn't speculation. It's based on real-world data from the McGregor test site, where similar technology has proven its durability. The implications for SpaceX's ambitious goals are profound. With this new system, they're not just talking about increasing launch frequency, they're building the infrastructure to make it happen. The company's internal timeline, recently shared with contractors, shows plans for up to 25 launches in rapid succession once the system is fully operational. Looking ahead, SpaceX is already developing V3, 
a behemoth that will stretch 150 meters into the sky. This isn't just another iteration. It's a complete reimagining of what's possible in rocket technology. The dual flame bucket system is being designed with these future variants in mind, capable of handling forces that would overwhelm conventional launch infrastructure. But challenges remain. The excavation required for these flame trenches is massive, requiring significant expansion of the Starbase facility. Environmental agencies and government regulations present hurdles that must be navigated carefully. Yet SpaceX's track record suggests they'll find innovative solutions to these challenges as well. Perhaps most exciting is what this means for SpaceX's StarShield program, recently highlighted in the Pentagon's $13 billion satellite initiative. The dual flame bucket system isn't just about launching rockets. It's about enabling a new era of space-based capabilities that could revolutionize everything from military communications to global internet access. The timeline is aggressive but achievable. With pad construction scheduled for completion by January 28th, SpaceX is once again demonstrating their ability to move at unprecedented speed. Recent drone footage shows teams working around the clock, with the flame trench taking shape day by day. Concrete reinforcement is already underway, with specialized high-temperature materials being applied to surfaces that will face the most extreme conditions. What's truly remarkable is how this system fits into SpaceX's larger vision. The dual flame bucket isn't just an upgrade, it's a crucial piece of infrastructure that will enable everything from Mars missions to military satellite deployments. Internal documents suggest that once operational, this system could support launch frequencies that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. The engineering team has incorporated lessons learned from Flight 1, where pad damage showed the importance of proper force management. The new design includes innovative features like variable angle deflectors and advanced sensor systems that provide real-time data during launches. This isn't just about building something bigger, it's about building something smarter. The dual flame bucket system represents more than just an engineering achievement. It's a testament to SpaceX's unwavering commitment to revolutionize space travel. While other companies talk about the future, SpaceX is building it one launch pad at a time. This innovative system isn't just about handling more powerful rockets. It's about creating the foundation for a future where space launches are as routine as airline flights. As we watch this remarkable infrastructure take shape at Starbase, we're witnessing the birth of technology that will enable everything from Mars colonization to advanced military communications. The speed of construction, the innovative design, and the forward-thinking approach all point to one conclusion. SpaceX isn't just preparing for the next launch. They're preparing for the next era of human spaceflight. I'm excited to continue bringing you the latest developments from SpaceX and Starbase. If you found this deep dive into the dual flame bucket system interesting, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this groundbreaking technology. I'd love to hear your perspective on how this could impact future launches. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest SpaceX innovations. Remember, we're not just watching history, we're watching the future unfold before our eyes. October 13th, 2023 marked a historic moment in spaceflight. SpaceX's Mechazilla arms gracefully caught their massive super heavy booster, Midair, a feat that left the space industry in awe. This wasn't just another rocket landing. It was a glimpse into the future of rapid rocket reusability that could revolutionize our journey to Mars. But halfway across the world, this achievement sent ripples through China's aerospace sector. Within weeks, Cosmo Leap, a Chinese startup founded just months earlier, secured $14 million in funding to build their own version of SpaceX's catching system. Their blueprints? Remarkably familiar. So familiar that even Elon Musk couldn't help but comment, look familiar. This isn't just about catching rockets. It's about the race for space dominance. As SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible, China's private space companies are watching learning, and moving fast to close the gap. But in the complex world of rocket science, 
Copying the design is one thing. Mastering the technology is another entirely. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where today we're diving deep into China's ambitious plan to replicate SpaceX's groundbreaking technology, the challenges they face, and what this means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. Let's start by examining what makes SpaceX's Mechazilla system so revolutionary. This isn't just a pair of mechanical arms, it's a precisely choreographed dance between rocket and machine. The system uses advanced AI-driven algorithms to track the booster's descent, adjusting for wind conditions and atmospheric variables in real time. Each catch requires accuracy down to centimeters, with the arms moving at exactly the right moment to cradle a 230-foot rocket traveling at considerable speed. Cosmo Leap's UA Chan project shows remarkable ambition in trying to replicate this feat. Their newly revealed plans showcase a system they're calling the Dragon's Embrace, a clear nod to their determination to catch up with SpaceX. The specifications are telling. A 75-meter rocket with a 4-meter diameter, powered by nine engines in an octagonal configuration. Sound familiar? It should. It's practically a blueprint of SpaceX's successful formula. But here's where things get interesting. Cosmo Leap isn't just copying. They're attempting to innovate in their own right. Their offshore launch platform concept, while similar to SpaceX's ocean platforms, includes some unique features. They're developing a stabilization system they claim can handle rougher seas than current technology allows. The platform is designed to be semi-submersible, potentially offering better stability during launches and catches. However, the technical challenges are immense. Let's break down what Cosmo Leap needs to master. First, there's the propulsion system. While they're using methane fuel like SpaceX, developing reliable engines isn't simply about following a recipe. SpaceX spent years perfecting their Raptor engines through countless tests and failures. Cosmo Leap's timeline of achieving this by 2025 seems optimistic at best. Then there's the control system. Their Firestone No. 1 flight computer and Little Firestone recovery tower controller need to process thousands of variables in milliseconds. SpaceX's success comes from years of accumulated flight data and real-world testing, something Cosmo Leap can't simply download or reverse engineer. The recent struggles of other Chinese space companies highlight these challenges. Deep Blue Aerospace's September crash of their Nebula 1 rocket shows how even small miscalculations can lead to catastrophic failures. Space pioneers Tonglong 3 explosion during static fire testing demonstrates the dangers of rushing development. But here's what makes